How's it going guys, Andy here and welcome to another video. Bit of a different one for you today, I want to do a product review for FBA Wizard Pro. Now this is a piece of software that you can use for Amazon arbitrage. To be honest with you, it's once in a very long time that something comes along that really changes the game. And in my opinion, FBA Wizard Pro is definitely one of them. If you use online arbitrage as your weapon of choice to make money on Amazon, then you really need to be making use of FBA Wizard Pro in my opinion. Now I've been looking for items online and selling them on Amazon for a good few years now. And it's a very profitable process to go through online web stores find their sales and their reduce and clearance items and compare the prices to Amazon, obviously comparing the seller rank and all the metrics you use for online arbitrage. Now, the only drawback with this process is it's very labor intensive. There's lots of trawling through information to find those diamonds in the rough, if you like. But often when you do find one, you can buy nine or 10 or 20 or even 50 of that item. So it works out very much worth the effort. In the past, I've used virtual assistants to go through items on sale in a website and I've asked them to go through all of them, compare the prices against Amazon and give me a rundown and send me a spreadsheet of all the items which are showing a profit for me to then look at and make a buying decision on. While it's safe to say I don't use virtual assistants anymore because FBA Wizard Pro does that job, much, much better, much quicker and far more efficiently. So what is FBA Pro? Well, it's hard to sum up in one short sentence because Sean at FBA Wizard Pro has developed this software into such a comprehensive resource. It has now evolved into a very impressive and powerful tool. I'm gonna to go through an overview with you right now of the most powerful features and I'm gonna go into a lot more detail on further videos. Now, if you want to get hold of FBA Wizard Pro, a link is in the description box below. And if you use that link, you're gonna get yourself seven days to try this out totally free. Now, to break down the basic fundamentals of this tool, it scans the top websites that are already pre-programmed into this web page here. As you can see, I'm in the UK, so I've got websites like Argos, Bargain Max, BM Stores, Boots, Curry's, John Lewis, the list goes on. There is a very comprehensive list of websites. So we can select any website we want to from the list here. Let's just use Toys R Us because it's a popular choice. Obviously it's going to be in the Toys preset because that's pretty much what they do. Now it's also got an integrated cashback engine which means you can get up to five and a half percent cash back and that sort of stuff really adds up if you're buying a lot of stuff from retail websites if you do find items to make a buying decision on then it really is worth making sure you're getting your cash back because that's just extra profit now once you've chosen what website you want to scan you've got additional filters here that you can apply but when you're starting out it's probably better just to leave these alone because you don't want to accidentally filter out some good stuff by mistake once you understand more about maximum sales rank and minimum return on investments and things like that you can hone in quicker on the items that you want to sell the only thing i would change here is uh, when Amazon is working out the fees, it doesn't include VATs. So if you pay VAT, you might want to stick in 20% here. If you're VAT registered, you don't need to do that. Then it's just a case of clicking on start scan. And FBA Wizard will now be scanning the whole of the Toys R Us website and checking the item prices against the Amazon item prices. And immediately anything with a profit will be shown here. Now this is updating live so it's not too bad to look through. But what you could actually do, now this scan is underway, you can close the website down and FBA Wizard Pro will actually email you when this scan is completed. So you can go off and go about your business and go and make a cup of tea or whatever you want to do and come back when this whole scan is finished and then you can assess all of the results, which is very cool. If you've got hundreds and hundreds of results here, you can filter out the stuff you're not interested in by putting a minimum profit here minimum return on investment and if you're dealing in the toy category maybe you might say I don't want to buy anything with a sales rank bigger than say 60,000 for example 
Now, if a lot of this stuff isn't making any sense, it's probably because you haven't learned about Amazon arbitrage and the techniques and how to assess the Amazon data to make your buying decisions. But that's fine. I can help you out with that. But if you are an Amazon arbitrage seller already, you will know how powerful this information is and how much time you'll save by using this sort of a tool. As you can see, it's all in UK pounds and we're scanning British websites here. But if you are in America, there is an American version of this available, which is very cool as well. So as I said before, link in the description box below if you want to try this out for seven days. So let's have a look at the sort of information you get back. On the far left here, we've got the ASIN, the Amazon serial identification number. We've got the title of the individual items. And obviously we're scanning Toys R Us at the moment. You're going to have the store price here, the Amazon price here, the fees. These are your Amazon fees and then your profit. So it's going to offset this price with this price, take away this much in fees, and this is your profit that you're going to get. And that is a percentage representation of your profit. So that's 64.3% return on investment. And here is the sales rank is showing you it's 504,176 in toys and games. Some of the other features here, which are very handy, is this number here tells you how many other people are selling this item on Amazon. So, for example, a listing with only two people selling something on the Amazon is going to be vastly preferable than a listing with, say, 22 people selling something on Amazon. So it all adds to the information to make your buying decision. Over here, we can click through. And this will automatically populate camel, camel, camel with the item that you're looking at, which again saves loads and loads of time. And then you can examine the price history and the sales rank here. And here we've got the keeper graph for this item as well. So you're no longer having to grab the ASIN number, go to a different website, click search and examine. It's all in one place, vastly quicker than you could ever do doing this manually and you would have to look through the entire website of Toys R Us, whereas this tool is scanning it all for you and only giving you information on items that are profitable. And you can even refine it down even more by using these filters and only get on top of the stuff that you really want to look at. So as you can see, this is an insanely powerful tool and this is just scanning Toys R Us. We can go back and we can scan any number of these websites and you know what's really cool you can actually choose eBay and choose any number of the eBay outlets or actually go to any seller on eBay any seller you like on eBay and scan using the web app let me show you that quickly Let's just say we found a seller on eBay selling the type of stuff that we're interested in. We could come to this seller here and find all of their items. And hopefully it's not cut off the screen, but we have the web application where again, we can put in the usual filters and then just click on start sourcing. And this is now going to do the scan for that particular seller on eBay. Once again, we can use the filters to take out stuff that we're not interested in. So the obvious weakness of scanning things through Toys R Us is it's a very popular and very well-known website. So you're going to get a lot of competition. If you do find profitable items, there's a very high chance that many other people are going to find profitable items. But there's so much scope now on FBA Wizard and so many places to search, there is just no way that too many people are going to be finding the items that you can find just by doing these sort of searches. There are infinite sellers on eBay and infinite ways and techniques of using FBA Wizard. I'm only showing you the scan tool here. There are still several more ways you can use FBA Wizard. It's only brought up three items here. So let's have a quick look. We've got £2 profit, £2.17 profit here and 141,000 seller ranks. I'm not interested in that. This one here, £5.78 profit is not amazing when you're investing £18. It's 32%. It's okay, but you'd be tying up a lot of your capital buying those sort of things for that sort of return. This one in the middle here, 
£24.45, but it's going for £230 on Amazon. And straight away, I can see this number one means there's one person who's got this item. So they're basically cashing in on the fact that they are the only person selling this on Amazon. What it probably means is this has either been discontinued and people are struggling to get it, or maybe it's getting, getting really popular and it's getting out of stock. So we can look more here. We can see that the sales rank is 32,000, which is pretty decent. And some of these tools, we can hover over the two items just to make sure that it's found the correct things. And it does look like it's the same item there. So we can click on this and it will open both windows for where we can buy it. So here is the eBay listing for sale at £24.45. And here is the Amazon listing. So this is effectively someone cashing in on the fact that they are the only one that can get hold of a very popular product. So there's a lot of money to be made here. Still 24 sales a month. We can go back to the results and just have a look at Camel, Camel, Camel and seeing what's, see what's been happening. As you can see from the price history, it's been fluctuating between, say, 20, going up to 40, spiking up to 60. The average is £34.15. It's been down as low as £15, but as you can see, it spiked up to this price and it went down. I imagine someone else got it in stock and was selling it and it spiked up again. So let's see how that's affect the sales rank. As we'd expect, lots of activity on the sales rank. See, the only thing I would be concerned at is when something goes up such a massive amount in price, that the sales would drop off because people aren't prepared to pay the money. But as we can see here, the early part of October, there are still sales going on at that high price. So it's showing there's still activity on the listing and people are still buying at that ridiculous price. So here we have an awesome opportunity to make an awful lot of money that I would never have found, never, I never would have looked through and found this person's items and never looked and found the fact that this is a hot selling item currently. They've got more than 10 available, so we could grab these, immediately put them on. So there you can see how easy it is to come across something very, very profitable. Now this thing here is another option for FBA Wizard. It's, a, it's an additional thing you have to pay extra for. I think it's about eight pounds a month or something like that. But this is another massive time saver and you don't even have to use it in conjunction with FBA Wizard. Whenever you go onto an Amazon page, you see you click on any Amazon page and give it a second and it appears here and it will tell you whether it's in the top 3%, top 1%, top 15%. So it means if you're not 100% sure on the bestseller ranks it's going to give you that information straight away and it also will give you an idea of how many it's selling based on the last 30 days of sales so as you can see here this one is saying four sales a month which means the sale rank is going to be not particularly good 119,765 so that's a slow selling item we go back to this one and wait for it to load up it's showing it's top one percent and that is 24 sales a month. Now this is not always an approximation, but it's a good indication. If we go down to the sales rank, we can see it's 32,409, which again confirms it's a, it's a good rank and this item is selling quickly. Now, I wouldn't expect these to be flying out at 230 pounds, it's a crazy amount of money. But at this time of year that I'm recording this, we are in Q4 and we're coming into Christmas. Parents do crazy things when their kids must have this item. And if people are struggling to find it elsewhere, it's out of stock or they've discontinued it and their kids want it, people will pay these prices. The other really useful thing about the Wizard Bar add-on, as you can see here, it's gonna tell you how many that person has of the, of the item in stock as well. So not only is there only one person selling it, he's only got three, and then there's gonna be no, no one on here. So it will be all yours. Big money potential right here. So there we have a quick overview of the scan process. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this video because we've already been going a while, but it's safe to say there are many different options you have that you can use this for. One I really like here is the wholesale option. If you have wholesale accounts with people, uh, you'll know that quite often they'll send you their product catalog, which often is an Excel sheet with hundreds 
and hundreds if not thousands of items and cross-referencing that with Amazon is an impossible task there's just so much to do but with this this is so powerful it's unbelievable you can browse for that wholesale catalog it will scan that file and cross-reference it with all of the items on Amazon and come back and tell you out of those hundreds or thousands of items which ones are profitable based on the information that you give it here which is just so powerful. So like I said, I'm going to be going into more details on FBA Wizard Pro with some upcoming videos, but it's safe to say I'm blown away by this. Any questions, hit me up in the comments box below as usual. I hope you found this review of FBA Wizard useful. As always, thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence and I will catch you on the very next video. Bye for now.